Hi, I'm Eli Wolf on the AU Review. Yeah, it, it came out. Um, it came out in, in February, actually, I think. Um, and uh, yeah, out as in it was available, but the tour hadn't begun. So um, at that point, um, yeah, so the tour started later on in February, and uh, finishes up in May. So so far, um, we've gone across. Uh, we've been in West Australia for Nanup Festival and um, did a band show at Clancy's um, Fish Pub in. Um, Fremantle, which was, was awesome. Um, and then up to Port Hedland for a, a, a show there. They had a, some school kids had designed this um, Meccano set type of auditorium uh, thing in this park. And uh, yeah, I played for the crew. They had a little like market there as well and uh, on sunset. So that was, was really beautiful. And um, yeah, then from there to Darwin, um, which was great. And then yeah, just got back um, on Monday, just gone and head off uh, today to go north up to you know Armadale you do that but yeah in doing a release like doing what how I'm doing it uh, it's it's great to at least um to travel and, and, and get it out there in the uh, regional centers as well you know like just travel and check it's all good you, uh, you we were talking briefly before about the artwork for for perfect moment can you talk about how that artwork came about yeah uh, well while well, mixing the um, it was with we all started something it's because it's uh it's quite a geometric kind of um sort of mandela song it, everything unfolding kind of vibe and um i wanted to encapsulate the electric guitar sounds with the the groundedness of the drumming and, and stuff like that so um yeah while mixing it's sort of like an aurora borealis vibe with the night sky and, and different shimmering colors and then um you sort of grounded with the the earthy browns and the, and the and the lake kind of vibe, but uh, that that was the feeling. I was trying to get that feeling into the artwork um, while while mixing. So uh, yeah, it's come up come up really well. I'm really happy with it. Um, it it connects this EP connects from the last EP, which is a little bit more stripped back um, and recorded. Just go through each song. And that's it, you know. So this one, I just wanted to make it a little bit bigger, still keeping that essence um, of acoustic, but. Uh, a bigger sounding too for those um just you know like when i've been in the theater the theater venues and stuff like that bigger sound and get, get, get that on record kind of well, what sort of venue is your favorite to play and do you like in the outdoor settings in the theaters i mean we talked before about yeah, seeing I, iron and wine in a church yeah look that to me the the ambience around wherever you're playing is going to set the priest set the vibe for for what the audience can kind of expect you know like you're, you're already sort of rolling into the the essence of what what's about to happen I, I don't mind playing anywhere so long as the sound's there and i can you know you can hear that what you're playing uh as long as that um sounds there the environment most of them are pretty good you know like outdoors on sunset and uh to you know even in some of the places that are a little bit harsher i suppose um i do bring along some film and um things elements that help sort of like set up the vibe to offer that experience to people um yeah so what's uh, the rest after this massive tour what's the rest of the year going to be holding for you um i'm just organizing now f for um i've got some songs that i've written on the road so looking at coordinating the next recording side of things and um also touring uh, overseas a little bit towards the end of the year and um and the next tour um as well as just making sure i'm on time for these current shows coming up um and just yeah keep it all flowing you know um keep it high res and and make sure yeah to check check stuff out on the way as well you know well thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today thanks larry we'll see you on the road